Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I have kind of an old school YouTube haul to share with you guys. So I ran over to Walmart. I saw, um, actually I got a bunch of DMs on Instagram from people showing some new hard candy products and a lot of it looked really interesting. So I headed over there and I also found some new things from Wet n Wild. I got a few things from Elf. I also got a new product from Neutrogena. So I just have a ton of stuff to get through. I figured I would do like an old school haul type style video because when I asked on my community tab, that's what most people wanted to see. You just wanna see the products right away. But if you would like to see more in-depth reviews on these, once I've tested them out, I can also do that as well and kind of do like an update video in a week or two. So let me know your thoughts on that down below. But for now, let's go ahead and just open up this big bag and I'll show you what I got. So here's just a quick overview of what I picked up. First, I got the Neutrogena Lip Sleeping Mask, which is new. I also got some things from a Wet n Wild collection called Bloomin. And then when it comes to hard candy, they have some brand new bronzers, also some velvet paints, which are like all over face paints. They have a new Sheerly Me tinted moisturizer, lip and cheek tints. They have like a plumping balm. I'm not sure if that's really new, but it looked interesting. And then they have these eye def metallic shadows and also some eyeshadow sticks. And I also got some new skincare from e.l.f. This is their pure skin line, which is dermatologist developed. So that's just kind of a quick preview of everything that I got. So let's start out first with the Neutrogena Lip Sleeping Mask. So this is from their Hydro Boost line and I love their Hydro Boost products. I love the foundation. It's not really a foundation, it's like a skin tint. It's so beautiful. I also love their Hydra Boost lip glosses. So I'm really excited for this lip balm because I feel like those products are just so well formulated. And this says that it also contains the purified hyaluronic acid. So it's supposed to like go into your lips and kind of plump them up a little bit. I actually do wanna like put a little bit on just for the video, I'll kind of wear it and see how it feels. So it doesn't seem to have a scent and it's not thick, but I don't feel like it's super thin either. I'd say it's kind of a medium weight. It feels really, really nice, super soothing and hydrating. So this claims to be a luxurious leave-on overnight lip mask that is designed to hydrate for smoother looking lips, formulated with purified hyaluronic acid and designed to leave your lips feeling soft and supple while you sleep. So I am definitely excited about this one. Like I said, love their Hydra Boost line. Then I guess before we get into the hard candy stuff, let's take a quick look at these new products from Wet n Wild. These are from their Bloomin collection. I believe it's limited edition, but these just look so pretty. I couldn't resist them. I loved the flower packaging. I honestly haven't been this excited about a Wet n Wild launch in a while. I feel like I always used to just run to the drugstore if I saw a new Wet n Wild collection was out. And now I'm just kind of like, eh, like I don't really, usually care that much, but this looked really pretty. So this palette looks super cute. It has two matte shades up here, then it has a beautiful shimmer shade that might actually be a dual chrome. It looks like it kind of is pink with like a golden shift. And then there is a pressed glitter. I didn't really realize this was a pressed glitter until I got it home. So if you're not a fan of glitters, I just wanted to point that out, but I feel like the rest of it, even, even if I don't use the glitter, I would definitely use this shade on my lid anyway. So let me just show you guys the palette up close and show you some swatches. Swatches. I do want to do like a b-roll of all the different swatches for this and not just kind of hold the products up and show them to you that way I want you to at least be able to see them close up and see some really good swatches So you can get a better idea of what they're like and then there's also a blush in this collection I'm not sure if there were more the collection was really really picked over in my local Walmart They only really had this and the palette and like a lip mask, which I didn't end up buying um, But this blush is called flower power and it looks like the most most beautiful like mauve or mauvey toned blush. This color looks stunning. I definitely want to swatch this for you guys and show you what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. I've always liked Wet n Wild's blush formula. I feel like they do a really good job with their blushes and I can tell already that I'm gonna love this color. It's more cool toned. It has like sort of a satiny finish where it's not a flat matte. It has a little bit of dimension to it. So, so pretty. All right, I am definitely excited about this blush for sure. All right, let's Let's get into the hard candy stuff now. So first we have this new bronzer called Instant Summer. I actually got it in two shades because I really wasn't sure which one I was gonna like the best and it was hard to tell through the packages. 
So I got the shades Toasted and Tan. I think Toasted looks like it's the lighter of the two, but at least through the packaging, this one looks like it might be a little more yellowy and the tan one might be a little bit more pink toned. So I'm really curious. Let's go ahead and just open these up. Okay, yeah, so this is Toasted over here, definitely lighter, but it looks a little bit more on the yellow side. And then Tan, I think might be just slightly too dark for me, but if I sheer it out, I could probably make it work a little better, or maybe I could even mix these two together. But I feel like this one has a better tone, at least for me. So let me show you guys these up close and some swatches, and I'll kind of read over the claims really quick. So it says, capture the warm glow you get from spending a day in the sunshine. This weightless bronzer is infused with mango butter and cocoa butter to condition and nourish the skin and has a natural finish that blends seamlessly. It's paraben-free, phthalate-free, and also it's vegan and cruelty-free. And just swatching my finger into the pan here, Oh my gosh, these feel so soft. I just put some on the back of my hand and it just seems like the most blendable powder. It just seems to be blending so seamlessly into my skin. So I'm really excited for these, especially because I wasn't a big fan of the bronzers that Hard Candy had last time. I feel like they came in kind of similar packaging to this. I just felt like they were really powdery and almost had kind of a chunkier feel to them. These feel so soft and finely milled. So I am definitely excited for these. Next up, super curious about these. These are the Velvet Paint All Over High Pigment Color. So I got four different colors. I honestly couldn't decide between them and they sound super interesting. I love how they come in these little tubes. So let me just open all these up really quick and then we'll kind of take a closer look. So the tubes are actually pretty small compared to the box, but if these are as pigmented as I'm hoping they are, you probably only need like a tiny little dot to do like your eyes with or your cheek or whatever. So I'll show you what these look like up close. It says get your glam on with Hard Candy's Velvet Paints. These ultra creamy high coverage formulas deliver unparalleled payoff and a quick dry down for a flawless finish each time. These flexible formulas won't dry out your skin and are offered in four shimmering shades. Use the velvet paints on eyes, lips, and face to elevate your look with just one swipe. So you probably just saw swatches as I was reading that, but I just wanna try a little bit on my hand cause I haven't actually tried them yet in real life. So this is the shade Move Aside or Mauve Aside, I swear. Every time I say that word on this channel, I get at least one comment saying that I'm saying it wrong. So I just say both now. I say mauve or mauve because I honestly, like I can't take the comments anymore. I feel like mauve is the way Americans say it. The rest of the world says mauve. So depending on where you're coming from, I feel like there's really not a right or wrong way. So anyway, sorry to go off on a little tangent, but this looks really interesting. It's kind of actually really shiny and metallic. So I could totally see this being a really good liquid eyeshadow. And I'm curious to see how it would work as a blush as well. Like if you blend it way out, it could work as kind of like a blush highlight combo, sort of like a two-in-one product. I don't feel like I would use this on my lips though, just because it's such a metallic finish. I feel like it would highlight every single line and wrinkle. So these seem like a very interesting concept. I feel like there's nothing like this at the drugstore at all. So I'm excited to start playing with these. Another product that was right next to them but is slightly different are these lip and cheek tints. So these actually come in larger tubes. Let me just pop these open here. And they were out of some of the colors, so I couldn't get them all. But I got two shades, Don't Coral, Don't Text, and a Latte to Handle. And these say that they're a full pigment lip and cheek tint. So let me just put one on my hand and see. Whoa, it's kind of coming out of the tube like crazy. I'm gonna have to get like a towel or something to wipe that up. It just kind of squirted it all over my little tabletop here. This is the Latte to Handle one. It comes out pretty dark and it actually has a way more emollient feel than those velvet paints do. So I could definitely see using these on your lips. They don't have any kind of shimmer, but look at that pigment. I think I put a little bit too much, but this is crazy. And I think the thing that I'm the most curious about is if these will dry down on your cheeks, because like I said, they do have a little bit more of an emollient feel than the velvet paints do. And I'm not crazy about about cream blushes that stay sticky on your cheeks, but I feel like this will probably blend down. As I'm kind of blending it, it is already drying down quite a bit. So let me show you guys up close what these look like. So like I said, the tubes are much bigger and it says Hard Candy's lip and cheek tints deliver flawless, non-streaky, buildable coverage in four vibrant shades infused with diamond powder and collagen, which is known to hydrate and moisturize the skin. This innovative formula can be used on the lips for a gentle pop of color or applied to the cheeks for a natural 
naturally flushed face. And it says to just put them on with your fingers, but I'm guessing you could also like put a little bit on your cheeks and then blend it out with like a beauty sponge or a brush or whatever you want. But yeah, actually this on my hand now is completely dry. So that's awesome. Again, I feel like this is kind of a rare product to find at the drugstore. I know Milani has their cheek kiss in the tubes, which I love. This kind of reminds me of that. And also NYX has the ones that are in the tube, the sweet cheeks, but they have like a wand applicator. So they're slightly different, but I feel like same concept. So yeah, I feel like these are gonna be really good as well. I also got a new tinted moisturizer and this is called Sheerly Me Tinted Moisturizer. It didn't honestly come in that many colors. So I was a little disappointed in the shade range and everything looked like it was gonna be too yellow for me. I read somewhere a long time ago that like 80% of people have a yellow undertone and that's why most foundations and face products are yellow based that having a pink undertone is a little bit more of a rare thing. So I guess that's why most products always end up looking kind of more yellow on me. But anyway, I'm really curious about this. On the back, it says hyaluronic acid for hydrating. It has niacinamide for skin perfecting and that it's vegan and cruelty free. I got the shade 210, which was the second to lightest shade. I would always rather go just a little bit darker than too light because I feel like lighter foundations for some reason show more like texture and imperfections in my skin. I don't know if that's all in my head, but it seems like a little bit of a deeper color seems to kind of hide more. So that's why I would definitely, if I can't find an exact match, I'd rather go a little bit darker. And this is something that's so sheer, I feel like it's just gonna blend into my natural skin anyway. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my right hand because my left hand is like full of products already. So this has a really, really thin texture. It's almost like a serum, except it's not runny, but it feels as thin as a serum as I'm blending it out. I think the color is definitely a little dark for me and definitely too yellow, but it has such a nice feel to it. It feels a lot like skincare. I don't know how the coverage is gonna be yet, I feel like it definitely evened out my hand a little. And I also love the packaging. I love this type of squeezy tube with this little nozzle. I just feel like it's so much easier when they don't have the nozzle and it's like more of a wide open section. I feel like it just kind of globs out everywhere. This is so neat and clean and easy to use. So thumbs up for the packaging for sure. So let's go ahead and just check out some of the claims and I'll show you what it looks like up close. So this says that it's a clean light coverage tinted moisturizer that illuminates skin with a dewy finish that still looks like your skin, just way more even, healthy, and balanced. It's infused with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid to instantly brighten and hydrate upon use, and super sheer coverage makes each shade flexible and adaptable. So I'm definitely excited to see how that works out. And next I have some eye products from Hard Candy. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of their eyeshadow palettes. I just haven't had the best luck with them. They're not terrible, but they're not my favorite formula at the drugstore either. So these are actually single liquid shadows. These are the iDef metallic eyeshadow. It says lasting eye color and again hydrating with hyaluronic acid. I got three different shades to try. So let me just open up the box. They kind of made this like Fort Knox. It was hard to get that open. <laughs> anyway, first impression packaging is really nice. They come in these sleek tubes. They're kind of an oval shape, so they're wide and flat this way and then really thin and narrow that way. And they have a really pretty silver cap. You can see the color right through. Let's see what the wand looks like. Okay, so it's just a flat paddle style applicator, which you guys will see up close in a second. I just want to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Wow, all right, so it's really pigmented. I feel like sometimes, especially at the drugstore, liquid shadows like this can be kind of like streaky or maybe like a little patchy, but this actually went on really nice in one swipe. So let me show you guys these colors and what they look like. It says, power up your look with this high shine, multi-dimensional liquid eyeshadow. The weightless smudge proof formula is buildable from a wash of shimmer to full on glam. And it claims to have extended wear and be smudge proof and waterproof. So I'm guessing kind of like most liquid eyeshadows, these would be 
more of a wash of color if you put it on your eyes and then kind of pat it with your finger and it just kind of takes away some of the intensity of it and spreads it out a little. Or you could just use the applicator and just paint it on your eyelids and let it dry like that and don't touch it and that'll be a lot more intense. So I think these colors look really pretty and I'm excited to try them out. I have to say, I've been loving the liquid shadows from Moira Beauty. I feel like they are just kind of hard to beat and they're at a really good price point and they keep selling out. So I know a lot of people love those, but who knows, maybe these will be a little bit more of like an accessible option at Walmart. And then I also got these new Prism Play eyeshadow sticks. I feel like eyeshadow sticks are another thing we really don't see a lot from drugstore brands. There's a lot of high-end ones like the Laura Mercier. Bobbi Brown has some. I think the best affordable ones are the Beauty Pie version, but those are kind of harder to get. You have to order them online. You have to be a member of Beauty Pie. So these are a good long-lasting formula. That's gonna be another thing where I feel like Hard Candy kind of has the market cornered at the drugstore for these. So let's check it out. If I really like these I'll definitely go back and get more colors because they had more so the two shades that I got were mauve or mauve my way and then talk purple to me so I just took the talk purple to me out of the package and it's just it looks like a regular eyeshadow stick again you'll see it up close in a second I'm just gonna draw it on here it seems really pigmented and it doesn't feel like a particularly emollient or greasy formula so I feel like it's gonna hold on really well on your eyes and it has a nice amount of shine without being like glitter or overkill. I think it's so pretty. All right, so let's check these out up close. This says Hard Candy's Prism Play Eye Sticks glide on effortlessly with a super luxe creamy formula that can be used as a shadow or a liner. Use all over the lid for a wash of color or as an eyeliner along your top and bottom lash line. The multi-reflective shimmer and pearl formula will make your eyes your best feature. The sleek design is amazing for precise application and easy for on the go. So that's another product I am definitely really excited about. I feel like hard candy is always more miss than hit for me, but I don't know, I have a good feeling about a lot of these products. So I'm hoping that they live up to my expectations right now. And then finally, I got some new things from e.l.f., some new skincare. So they have this pure skin line. It says it's dermatologist developed and I got the cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. The cleanser says that it has oat milk, allantone, and niacinamide. Let me just put a little bit on my hand. I'll actually see if I can kind of cleanse this away. It looks like a really nice creamy cleanser. Ooh, so it almost looks like a cream gel when I pump it out. Yeah, it has this really nice, um, kind of like a cushiony feel to it. No scent at all, which is really nice. So it's gonna be great for more sensitive skin. I just love the texture of this. It feels so nice. It has great slip to it and it just feels very um, comforting. And it's also breaking down this makeup really nicely. So let me just remove this with a towel. Yeah, so I mean, it seemed to take care of the makeup really well and it seems super gentle. So let me show you guys what this looks like up close. It says this non-comedogenic, non-foaming cream gently cleanses the skin, removing dirt and impurities for hydrated skin. It's fragrance-free, vegan, cruelty-free, no sulfates, phthalates, or parabens. And it's for all skin types, including sensitive skin. You have water and glycerin as the top two ingredients. Then you have niacinamide right after that, and oat kernel flour, chamomile flour, sodium hyaluronate. You have vitamin E, then you have ceramide NP, ceramide AP. So yeah, just right there, the top several ingredients are all really good. It does say that this is dermatologist developed. So I love that. I love having a really like solid skincare formulation at the drugstore. So next let's check out the toner. So this says it's with oat milk, aloe juice, and niacinamide. So it sounds like really nice and soothing and hydrating. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my hand. I'm guessing it's just like a regular toner. I probably won't be able to tell you too much about it. Um, but yeah, it just has the same like kind of watery feel that most toners have. Again, no scent whatsoever. And it actually feels really hydrating. It's taking a second to kind of sink into my skin, which is nice. My hand is so dry and so rough just from all the hand washing. So yeah, just between the cleanser and now this, I feel like my hand is already feeling a lot better and a lot softer. So let me just read you guys the claims really quick. It says this non-comedogenic, non-drying toner nourishes and moisturizes for softer, smoother looking skin. And it says to apply to the skin with a cotton round or hands after cleansing, avoiding the eye area. 
And the top ingredient after water is aloe leaf juice, and then glycerin, then niacinamide. And again, you have ceramide NP, ceramide AP, and ceramide EDP, glycolic acid. So I guess it must also exfoliate a little bit. Sodium hyaluronate, chamomile flower water. So yeah, this sounds amazing as well. And my hand right now feels as smooth as a baby. Oh my gosh. It might be that little bit of glycolic acid in there that just really like destroyed the flakes that were on my hand so that's awesome and then we have the moisturizer this says that it has oat milk ceramides and niacinamide very similar to the cleanser so let's see what this feels like it's really really thick when I pumped it out it just kind of sits here and it has such a beautiful texture again I think it's probably all those ceramides in there it just has like that super comforting like cushiony feel it almost feels like a gel cream and even though when it came out it looked really thick i feel like it's not super thick so i think a lot of different skin types can use this i don't feel like it's just for dry skin at all i feel like this is just a great like basic skincare line if you don't want like a ton of frills it has awesome ingredients just really super nourishing and hydrating so Let's take a closer look at this. It says, this is a non-comedogenic rich cream that nourishes and soothes for supple skin. And again, it's fragrance-free, vegan, cruelty-free, no sulfates, phthalates, or parabens. And it says it's for all skin types, including sensitive skin. The top ingredients are water, glycerin, capric and caprylic triglycerides, niacinamide, stearic acid, oat kernel flour, sodium hyaluronate, allantoin. Then you have the chamomile, all the ceramides again. So yeah, I feel like all three of these are formulated very similarly, like with a lot of the same ingredients. What was that? Oh, <laughs> I heard some beeping. I was like, I don't know if that's my phone or what it is, but it was, um, my son has one of those little Tamagotchi pets and it's probably like hungry or something. It was going off downstairs. And yes, I'm the one that has to feed it and take care of it while he's at school. So before it dies on him, I guess I better head down there and do that. So anyway, yeah, that's everything that I have in today's video. I think I covered everything, did I? Oh no, I did forget one thing from Hard Candy. This is the Plumping Serum Lip Balm. So this is the product. I wasn't sure if it was new or not. I honestly haven't been to Walmart in such a long time. I And I haven't really looked at Hard Candy's line. So I used to love their Plumping Serum lipsticks. I felt like they weren't necessarily like a plumping formula, but they were so smoothing and they looked really, really good on your lips. So. This kind of packaging wise reminds me of the Buxom ones a little bit. I do have one of those. Actually, let me just go grab it really quick and we can kind of do a little comparison. All right, yeah, so here it is. I have the Dolly Fever shade and these are the Powerful Plump Extreme Lip Balm, but it's like a big chunky lip balm packaging. Very, very similar. So the Hard Candy one I got in the shade Colossal Caramel. It's weird because it doesn't look caramel at all. It actually kind of looks like a pinky mauve color, but let me see. I'm just gonna put a little on the back of my hand. So it's pretty sheer for the most part. It looks darker in the tube for sure than what it actually looks like on me. I don't know if this is supposed to like actually plump, like tingle or do any of that stuff. So I'll have to keep you posted, but just putting the buxom one next to it, I mean, yeah, they feel very, very similar as far as the texture. So there's the buxom one. I mean, they have the same kind of sheerness level. So let me just look it up quick and see what it has to say about it. Okay, so this says, introducing Hard Candy's Plumping Serum Lip Balm, the perfect formula for a laid back hint of color and the plumping sensation you crave. So I guess maybe it does have like a tingle or something. It says, plumping serum conditions as it plumps for a plush pout, apply lip balm and allow the plumping complex to kick in. And it says that it's infused with shea butter to condition condition your lips while plumping. And yeah, now that I think about it, my hand is actually like, I feel kind of a warming sensation going on. So I don't know if that's from the Buxom one or the hard candy or both, but let me just take these off. I feel like my poor hands can't take any more irritation. Yeah, they left kind of a little bit of redness behind. So not sure how I feel about that necessarily, but again, I'll have to keep you guys updated and I hear the Tamagotchi going off again. So I really have to go now before he comes home from school and finds it dead. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also, again, any of these products you'd like to see more in-depth reviews on, be sure to let me know. I can always include them in a future speed reviews video. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it so much. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribed to my channel yet and you love drugstore makeup and dupes, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.